Hi, it's Matt from Mortar Productions. I hope you're well. Today we're going to talk about the different types of clay I use to sculpt my creatures. I thought it'd be a good idea to um, have my cat in the background because as my wife is at work, it's normally just me and the cat in this house um, working together. And so that's normally what she does, sleep. She has a good life. So today I'm going to talk about the different types of clay. So as I said in my last episode, I've been sculpting for about two years. So for me, this is still a progression learning um, activity. Like a lot of people, I started sculpting with air dry clay. So this is one of them that I normally go with. It comes in the tub. Um, this is quite good um, for kids to start off with, to learn how to sculpt. Um, with air dry clay, it does have a tendency to crack. Um, if there's anyone out there that uses this, that avoids that, please um, send me a message or comment. I love to hear some of your techniques. So this is how I started sculpting, just using just using this Carnarf clay. So it's very sort of moist and yeah, quite easy to um, to sculpt, you know, get the basic shape at the beginning. When I used this type of clay, I was making dinosaurs like this. So this is all air dry clay. Now, it's not too bad and it was good for me to sort of learn how to do the basic shapes and because it's quite flexible it's good to sort of uh, move the shapes around to avoid this dinosaur from cracking i actually covered this in a resin so i painted um, a clear resin over this before i painted it but it gives you a good idea if you look inside there you can see it's quite crumbly but this is a really good clay to start off with so after I used air dry clay for a bit, I then moved on to another product for me to sculpt with. The reason I used this product was because of the amount of detail that I could create during my creatures. The product that I chose was Super Sculpey. This is the firm edition. It is very tough, but the amount of detail that you can create is amazing. Now this is a polyform oven bake clay. So using this clay um, it is quite tough to use on your hands. You have to warm it up all the time um, and once you bake the clay that's that's it. It's used. So um, it's great in terms of it becomes super hard, um, but you can't reuse it. So I started looking at other products that I could use that is a bit um, easier on the hands to sculpt with and is also reusable. And the product that I came up with is Monster Clay. This clay is amazing. Basically, with this clay, you warm it up in the oven and it becomes very soft. And as you're going through and sculpting your objects, the clay hardens. And as it hardens, you then start doing the fine detail. The thing to point out is that this clay is not recommended for children. The reason why when you put this in the oven, it does become very hot. So you can actually melt this down to liquid form. So lastly, I just want to show you my progression um, from the last two years, starting off with air dry clay to super sculpty, and then moving forward with the monster clay. So as I showed you before, this was just air dry clay um, using uh, resin to harden it. It's pretty hard. Um, but 
the detail, you know, it's okay, but it's minimal. Um, and I really wanted to push forward and make really high detailed uh, creatures for my art. Um, this is quite a popular product that I sell these days. So this is um, customized T-Rexes with different costumes in a frame. So this T-Rex is sculpted from Super Sculpey. And then I've made a mold and this is the plaster product finish. Um, as you can see, that's the difference between just using air dry clay and Super Sculpey. So I was really happy with the progression. If you'd like to ask any question, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear any feedback or any techniques that you may use with your sculptures. If you like this video, please subscribe below. That would be awesome. And um, for me and Ruby, we'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.